Hey guys, Nina here, welcoming you to another reading from the Ladies of Horror Picture Prompt Monthly Challenge, hosted by Elaine Pascal on her channel, The Godmother of Horror. If you'd like to read along or read previously published pieces, please visit spreadingtherightersword.com or ladiesofhorror.com. In the meanwhile, enjoy the reading. Caveat Emptor by Kendra Smart. I can hear the sound in the silence, the mechanism turning and fulfilling its grand design and purpose. The dance meant to break me down, and over time it will succeed, has given me a rare chance to take the lead. A degree built on science, philosophy, the poets of history had sang through word, note, and art. But she had always dreamt of dance, the prima ballerinas, and how they shone on the stage, lost to the tides of their story, and floating above the wooden floor, gracefully silent against a crescendo of horns and strings. Fate had brought a science her way. The salesman seemed so sure that his device would work. An amplifier, a renowned secret, an artifact that when attached to any material could assist the user to learn anything they wished to know. Instantly. Wasn't there anything she wished she knew how to do and could replicate? Mr. McMurray said she could. So she did, because there was. That aching need burned brighter as it was fueled by a hope springing free from years of no time, no priority. She held desire close to her heart, and here stood a potential key, not to feel seen, but to feel realized. A dream is a wish your heart makes. But timing was never the issue. Here before her stood the invitation and open hand reaching for hers to join the dance. Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, won't you join the dance? Solid in her plan and having been devoted to her knowledge, it was really a simple matter of fashioning the right footwear for a dream becoming a reality. An honor and great care must be given for the perfect choice. The red shoes for a dance the Red Queen could be proud to point in. She was in love as her hands moved lightly but furiously, the pattern springing forward as though the yearn to break free and be created were just too much to bear. But after toils and foils, many a late night, they existed. Rose matter and color covered with the lace of the same make. Thick ribbon, velveteen on the front, lay long enough to tie and shone against the light in a beautiful burgundy gold trimming along the ribbon and lacework. She sighed as she viewed them. She had crafted them and they were ready, save for the slot laid empty, ready for the amplifier. Buyer beware had been just a passing phrase in a world of quick commerce and no label or directions had been given. She placed the amplifier, a small mechanical piece with but one button, and it was safe and snug in the alcove she had made for it. Now was the time. She had already broken in the shoes and had taped her feet like the girls in the videos had shown her. She placed her feet in and began lacing them up. When she was satisfied, it was time. She stood and began the music for her favorite ballet, Alice in Wonderland. The Queen of Hearts music began, but from the moment the button was pushed, her fate was sealed. For the shoes did in fact connect with the amplifier. And once it had acclimated to its chosen purpose, the machine connected with her. Through her, piercing through skin to assimilate and intertwine, becoming part of her. Her screams were so loud in her head as the white hot pain scorched along her bloodstream, burnt along every nerve and muscle. Even her bony prominences produced the worst echoing ache. But on the outside, all was normal. The amplifier did as it was marketed. 
It enhanced the desire of those who used it for whatever fashion. But in return, the soul was sold and bargain for the gin are fair enough. They never lie about what is sold, but nor is a disclaimer given. But nothing in life is free, and the seller always comes calling for the price. Caveat emptor.